biggest fantasy our biggest fantasy it's not a show about sex it's about football it's the minor key version because your favorite player goes out with an acl injury kenny i'm so sad it's at so the start sad. of this show it's so sad hi welcome to our Vegas fantasy the sad edition i'm kenny <laughs> davidson i'm christina shaw and my favorite player is out with an acl injury so sad it's sad it's very sad um i have javante williams in 20 of my 70 leagues Jeez. i no longer have javante williams in 20 of my 70 leagues so because sad. i have dropped javante williams because he tore his acl and his lcl and his lcl he got the J he got the jk dobbins injury yeah yes a sad way to start the show uh how was your week christina uh, it was uh, decent. Three and two. Um, lost to you by seven points. Yes. So that's one. That's my one silver lining of the week. That kind of sucks. In a Javante team, by the way. That's oh, one of my Javante teams. Yeah, yeah. I had a uh, Schultz that got me a big fat zero. Yes. Thanks for nothing, Schultz. That's all I needed was seven flipping points out of you. And he got zero. And he got zero. Yes. So yeah. So three and two. Not 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 so bad. My teams are all looking pretty good. Yeah, good for you. Uh, how good. are you doing? I'm not doing good. 27 and 40. Oof. Uh, two gu guillotine survives, so I'm okay there. Okay. But um, I have Javante everywhere. I have Jonathan Taylor everywhere. And we're going to talk about him. He's not playing this week. I have Alvin Kamara everywhere. I, where's he been? I have DeAndre Swift everywhere. Where's he been? I have Keenan Allen everywhere. Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts. I have him. Now, he's actually playing. He's been playing, too. Yeah, but he's been playing. But he's actually playing. He's even more frustrating because he's actually been in the lineup. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I got I got some uh, problems this year, without a doubt. So, rec we're recording this show on Wednesday. Um, did you pick up a ton of players then? Were you able to get who you wanted? I got a few players. I mean, we're going to talk about that. We still have some waiver wire. If either There are a lot of leagues that do the waiver wires on Wednesday. So we're going to talk about that today. But uh, I got a few here and there. But, I mean, this uh, you, can you replace these guys? Can you, I mean, who out there is going to give you Jonathan Taylor points? Not that Jonathan Taylor's been any good. That's already in your line. He's already yeah. been a problem. Right. But, like, who out there? Is Tyler Algier going to give you 25 points? No. I mean, you never know. He might. He might have a good week. But, like, it's not – you're not expecting this, yeah. right? It's not going to be that easy. But let's get into uh, how good the week was for certain players. Um, where did Jared Goff get this from? Like, how did Jared Goff become this good? Please explain. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But he got four touchdowns. Yeah. Okay. All right. Four yeah. touchdowns, 378 yards. The Detroit Lions are number one overall in offense and number one, uh, number 32 overall in defense. And how do they still suck? That's because they're the worst team defensively. <laughs> right. I mean, they're going to win every game, or if they they're going to they're going to be in every game, it's going to be forty to thirty seven every single game. Yeah, it's insane. And then they're going to lose it. Well, yeah, they find a way to lose. And how the heck are they, you know, one and three? They're one and three because they have no defense. They lost forty eight to forty eight to forty five. And Joff, Goff is just killing. But Goff it. is killing it. It makes no sense. And speaking of the team they lost to, how the hell did Gina Smith Gina Smith get this good? I I don't know. Where'd this come from? I don't know. Who, who? He's not good, but like, where did he get this from? It's it's probably just a one week thing, and he's that's it. It's been two weeks in a row. All right, it's a two week thing, and that's it. That's it. He's gonna I, he's gonna get ten points this week. I mean, it's, this is insane. I must say, um, <laughs> remember last week when Francisco asked us the start sit question, and he asked Wentz, Lawrence, or or Geno Smith, and we said Geno Smith. Ha 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 ha! No. Yeah, we were wrong. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you said Lawrence. I said Wentz. Wentz got 11 points. Lawrence got 10. So whoever you started, you, you probably lost. Unless you started Geno Smith. Which he probably didn't. And if he did, then he did okay. <laughs> yes. Right? We'll have to see if he, yeah. if he started Geno Smith. <laughs> Doubt Hopefully. it. Russell Wilson. Great week. But yeah, he's Finally. alive. He's alive. Nice. Tom Brady, back from the dead. Okay. 385 yards, three touchdowns. You knew that, though, because Kansas City was going to run them up yeah, all yeah. day. So Tom Brady had to throw. Yeah. Wide receivers, Justin Jefferson back from the dead. Yay. Yay. Welcome back. Okay. Hopefully this keeps up Let's like hope. we all thought. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Mike Evans. Yay. 103 yards, two touchdowns. Thank you, Mike Evans. Yes. Can we keep this up, please? Yes. Now Godwin's back, too. They have I was going to say, yeah, now they got. We're going to get that type of week out of Evans, but you're going to get touchdowns out of Evans. Yeah. That's what he does. T. Higgins. 124 yards and a touchdown. You love T. Higgins, don't I, you? I love T. Higgins. I don't have Absolutely. him anywhere. I love T. Higgins. Don't have him anywhere. He's doing better than Chase for now. Yeah. Which is another weird thing. He's another one. Yeah. You He's have a lot of down. Chase, too. I have a lot of Chase. Yeah. He's been shut down. Yep. Uh, we didn't put Cooper Cup, but Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Cooper There's Cup. A yawn. I mean, because he's there every week. Yeah. His his run right now, these if this continues for the whole year, this is historic. Wow. What you're seeing out of Cup. Good. This type of production two years straight, historic. Yeah. Because we it's all thought it was going to be a decline this year. Oh, I mean. I no mean, way he was going to do it two years in a row. Not a chance. Right? And he's doing it two years in a row. Good for him. Absolutely. Yeah. Like he, you could have justified him as the number one overall pick this year, because mm-hmm. the number one overall pick's not doing very well. <laughs> so a lot of our picks aren't doing. Oh uh, no, well. early early round picks. The same thing as last year. Mm-hmm. It's, it's literally the same thing as last year. Yeah. So Austin Eckler, yay! Back. Welcome back, Austin. Sixty yards, two touchdowns, six receptions, and a touchdown. Thank you, Eckler. Welcome. I think, uh, I, think I would start our mothers against Houston <laughs> yeah. as running backs. Yeah. Yeah. I just want Eckler to keep this up. Like this week, James Robinson this week. If you have James Robinson, have fun. Have fun. You're going to party. Yay. Because he's playing Houston. 30 points. Yeah. He's going to have a crazy week. How about Josh Jacobs? Jingleheimer Smith. Oh. His name was my name too. I I don't don't even really know. Josh Jacobs, Jingleheimer Smith. That's it. His name is my name too. That's it. That's all I know. (laughs) That's all you got. I mean, that's all there is to know. Yeah. So, Josh Jacobs. Two touchdowns, five receptions, 144 yards. I okay. love the five receptions. Yes. Wow. Same. Yeah, good now for you. you don't usually get out of him. Yeah. That's great. So, Miles Sanders, is this, all right, are we believing in this? No. Okay. <laughs> Spoken like a true Eagles fan. I'm not. I don't, and I should, my, my dad keeps saying, he looks so good, he looks so good. I'm just like, I, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I can't. I'm just waiting for the injury. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have him anywhere? Nope. No, I don't either. I faded him. Right, because we're we're just done. One hundred percent fade of him. So done which with I him. I don't. You know, I I learned. I I kicked myself for doing that before. It's a mistake. It's a total mistake. Yeah. Rashad Penny. Great week. Yeah, 151 yards and two touchdowns. Okay, Penny. Did not look good in the first half, but man, that got going in the no, second half. No, but then he, yeah, yeah, it was a little rough. Yeah. A little rough. And Damian Pierce. Yes, my boy. Yep. Really happy for him. Really happy he's he's doing this. Yeah. What he's doing. Good year. Good good start out of him. Mm-hmm. You know, except for week one, which was weird, but that was just because he wasn't on the field. It wasn't his fault. Right, yeah. For some reason, they played Burkhead in week one. Which was since ridiculous. made no sense, but now Pierce is playing and Pierce is doing great. Burkhead. How is he still, he must be like 40 years old. He's up there. Yeah. Yeah. At least 33 or 34. Right. I mean, he's he's, he's got to be. It's just crazy how long I feel like I've been talking about I him. I feel like we've been talking about him a long time. Yes. I waited four years for this one. Yes. TJ Hawkinson. Same. I have too. TJ Yay. Hawkinson. With a With a breakout week. Now, again, Amamra was out. They had a lot of people out. Now, if everybody's out this week, like it's going to be the same thing. You're going to get another monster week out of him. Well, I, and I don't understand why they're not feeding him the ball more. Well, they have more options now with, with Amon Ra, Chark, Swift. Chark is old news. All right, but Swift, you know, when, when Swift is there and Amon Ra is still there, they have options. They no, you know, they no longer have those options right now. It's all Hawkinson and Josh Reynolds. That's it. Yeah. Josh so Hawkinson's going to yeah. get the ball. Mm-hmm. But he doubt. should be getting the ball every week. He's a good player. He's a really good player. Yeah. And they're not, I don't think they're utilizing I mean, him good it, enough. It'd be funny if we finally get the Hawkinson breakout year after all this year. I mean, he <laughs> is only 25. Like, this is generally when you see it from a tight end. Like, you don't see it with when they're rookies or second year. It's the same thing with Kyle Pitts. Yeah. Like, we, we have the same thing, but they don't generally break out as rookies. Mm-hmm. Like, Kelsey didn't break out as a rookie. Waller didn't break out as a rookie. Right? Andrews didn't break out as a rookie. It takes them time. Maybe this is it. Right? So maybe we're seeing it from Hawkinson. I'd be happy. It'd be nice to see. Mm-hmm. Mo Alley Cox. All right. Yep. I like this. He had his one game of the year. Yeah. Every year. We we'll probably won't see that much. No. Maybe, maybe one once more. Maybe. I doubt it. Two he touchdowns, one game. though. That was nice, though. Two touchdowns. Yes. I mean, did anybody really play him? No. <laughs> no. I don't think 
think so. No, I don't think Yeah, so. let me know. Show us a lineup if you have Mount Moali Cox in your lineup. I want to see it. <laughs> put it on put it on and tweet us. Tweet so. us. And now, who crapped the bed? Did you crap the bed? Did I crap the bed? Did we crap the bed? Well, I crap the bed. You all want to know who crapped the bed? Crap the bed! I crap the bed against you, but... No, I didn't actually crap the bed. I just had a little shart of Schultz. I had a Schultz shart against Kenny Davidson. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, scrap the bed. I mean, he's against Philadelphia. Yeah, that's I don't a- think a lot of quarterbacks are going to do well against Philadelphia this year. I, I yeah, that's great. I'm I'm ha- I'm for it. Yeah, I'm and it. it was also you know a monsoon. Yes, it was. Yeah, my dad Terrible said it was weather. raining horribly there. Yeah, could probably not even throw the ball. Terrible weather. So yeah. Trevor Lawrence, scrap the bed. Mm-hmm. Derek Carr. I roll. Yeah. Just doesn't get it done. No. It just Ugh. doesn't. Like, how many years have we been talking about this? It just doesn't happen for the guy. And you gave him Devontae Adams. I mean, no Renfro's out. Waller's not great right now. Like, it's giving, he gave you, Waller's giving you, like, one good game, one okay game, and two crappy games. Right? Which, <laughs> Waller needs to go to another team. Can you imagine how much Waller would blow up? If he was on Kansas City or... Well, I mean, anybody would blow up on Kansas City. No, except not anybody. For, except for Juju. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I shouldn't say that. Not anybody, yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. Carr needs, this, Carr needs to step up his game. He needs to practice more or, I don't know, train more. Or... I mean, Carr, Carr's going to finish as like QB 12 or 13 because that's where he finishes every year. And it's going to be the same thing this year. It's not going to be top 10, but he's going to be, you know, he'll be fine. Are you starting him anywhere? Yeah, I have him in super flex leagues. I got him in a couple leagues. Yeah, well, I'm not, I don't have him all over the place, but like I got him, in, I got him in a couple leagues. Super flex, I yeah. get, but no. Carson Wentz crapped the bed. Yeah, that was kind of sad. Yeah, he's been great all all year though. Bounce back week for him this week. Yeah, for sure. Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Deontay Johnson, my boy. Not he really. had now I had to deal with Sauce. Do you know Sauce? The the uh, the cornerback of the Jets that was a high draft pick. Who looks like he's a very good player. And he, uh, he shut down Deontay this week. Sauce. 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 Okay. So I think Deontay, and now Deontay's getting picket back. We're not back. He's getting he's, picket. He's getting picket. He's getting picket. So I think Pittsburgh's going to be okay. We're going to be saying picket to pickets. I can't wait. I was just going to say it. I can't wait for the Or we're going to be saying picket throws picks. One of the two. <laughs> Which he did this week. Three. three. Yeah. It's all right. It's yeah. his first game. Picket throws picks, but then he threw some pickings. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, God, it's going to hurt. You're gonna I can already tell us it's going to hurt. Get the spit shield on the mic. Thank you. I, I, you know, good idea. <laughs> Michael Pittman. 31 yards. Oi. How's he been doing this year? He had a good first game. Then he didn't play week two. Right. Then he he's, had like... He's fine. Mediocre, yeah. yeah. Um, Colts are broken. Yeah. I wanted That's to gra- problem. I wanted to grab him more during the season, and I just didn't. Yeah. Which I'm kind of happy about. Yep. Because he's all over the place. Jalen Waddle. Waddle, baby. Waddle, baby. Waddle, baby. Waddle. Yeah. I don't think we'll see him here much, but it happens. What are you going to do? It happens. It happens. Uh, Devonta Smith. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be the Devonta Smith year. It's going to be it's going to be extremely good or extremely bad. I think he's the new Tyler Lockett. Mm. Yeah. A different player, but, I, but um, same idea where it's going to be enormous weeks and crappy weeks. Yeah. That's why I think that that's what he is. Yeah, seventeen yards this week. That was that hurt. Not good. Again, in a in a monsoon. So yeah, we'll, we'll see yeah. what happens. Mm-hmm. Not like anybody did any, anything good. Right. Gabe Davis Jeez. still fighting foot injury. That's it, it, he's getting frustrating, man. He's really getting frustrating. I mean, let's see what, if he gets healthy. My worry with him is the volume. Even in game one, he didn't only have six targets. So, but at least he got some points in game oh, yeah, one well, because he scored. And yeah, he had a long touchdown. Yeah. But these last three weeks have just been rough. Yeah. I don't know what One the, week he made. Yeah, yeah. You know, we should put him on our what, what do we do with him We well, play him because you drafted him high. He's going to be fine. I think he'll still be fine. But when? We gotta, we, well, we got to see if he heals from the foot injury if he, if he breaks out. Right. How long see, do now, I have If to... that doesn't happen, then if the volume doesn't go up with him, then we got a problem. I think I'm already – I think we're already in the problem. All right. 
Because it's just getting really frustrating playing him and just watching him get three and four points for the last three weeks. It's just really frustrating. I understand he has an injury and all, but I'm I'm about ready to sit him. Let's see. Yeah. I'm playing him this week. Terry McLaurin. I, I faded him completely. Yeah. Well, he, he's Drives had, me nuts. He's had one touchdown all year. Yeah. One touchdown, 14 receptions, and 250 yards all year. Yeah. Like... Oh, we had high hopes for you, McLaurin. I did I did hopes. not. I did. Okay. I did. I really did. Oh, well. Yeah, not sold. Okay. Amari Cooper. Crap the bed. Yes. Yes. Which is another one I like and kind of sad about that, too. Yeah. Nine yards. Nine yards. Hope nobody started him. That's typical Amari Cooper. Yeah. Great weeks, bad weeks. Yeah. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. James Robinson. Rushed not eight times. It rushed eight times for 29 yards. It's just dreadful. Dreadful. Again, monsoon, Jacksonville. It just is what it is. Fire him up this week in Houston. Trust trust me on that one. Yeah, he'll be good. Mark Andrews. Didn't think we'd see him much on this list. Yeah, well, I mean. Bad week. It happens. You know, also bad weather. So we got to figure that. Uh, What the hell do we do with Baker Mayfield? Apparently, uh, drop him and play uh, Geno Smith. Yeah, right? <sighs> Jeez. He's a disaster. That's Utter sad. Disaster. Yeah, I'm, I, I I, thought he'd have a, an F.U. year. Same. And it's he's having an F.U. year to us. That's sad. <laughs> Not to anybody else but us. Yeah. What do we do with uh, Elijah Moore? Do we drop from all our teams, Elijah Moore? Wait, we don't drop him because we're not going to drop him. No, but you bench him. He hasn't gotten more than nine points. That's pretty bad. That's bad. Bench yeah. him. I'm done. I'm done. Are you still playing him? And At just... least I got to play him. Really? I mean, I, I'm relying on him. I don't have a lot of better options in some leagues. Like, I'm playing him. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Then we're screwed. But, like, I'm playing him. All right. Not everywhere. If I have better options, I'm not, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what the hell do we do with Kyle Pitts, who didn't practice today because of a hamstring injury? Here's the thing. I understand he's not getting much, but he does have an easy schedule coming up, which is promising. Yep. Tampa Bay, San Fran, Cincinnati, Carolina. So. San Fran's not easy. Tampa Bay's not really easy either. But, yeah, like, but they're going to score points. Hopefully. They're going to need to throw it a yeah, lot. they are. And they're going to need to rely on him. Yeah. So, I don't know. I I didn't grab on to the Kyle Pitts hype. Which is smart. I did not. Yeah. I, I did not understand it. I, I still don't understand it. And now I – so, I don't have it much. I don't it's, have it at all. It's so. just what we said about Hawk, and it's just what we said about these tight ends. Yeah. Tight ends take a few years. They just do. And this is his second year, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of all the tight ends that are on the list right now that are top tight ends. Did they all break out as rookies? Kelsey didn't. Andrews didn't. Waller didn't. Kittle didn't. Kittle was his second year. Then he broke out. And Kittle hasn't been great this year either. What about Ertz? I don't, I don't know. Ertz took time. That was a while. Goddard, even so Goddard long took ago. a little time. Right? Oh, he got her definitely. Yeah, took Goddard took some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, these guys don't break out right, right away. Right. The problem is, if you draft a Kyle Pitts, you spend a third round pick on him. And the other problem is, the day you drop him or the day you sit him is the day he's going to get you 15 points. You have to play him. You're stuck. Right. I just don't understand why he was going in the third round. You know, that is blasphemy. I, you, you were right. I, I bought into it too. You know, you were totally right. Wow. A guy like that should not have been a third round Did pick. Did you just say I was right? Thanks, Kenny. You're right a lot. What are you talking about? Aww. <laughs> yeah, I just, it's just, I don't, I don't, you know. Third round, that's, that's it's expensive. Yeah, it was expensive. Very it was expensive. way too expensive. And when I first saw it come out, I'm like, that's just too expensive for me. And then I bought into it. It Was it just because of how good he looked it's in because, training camp? It's, it's like, that, and it's because he's Kyle Pitts. He's a fourth overall pick. And he's supposed to be an outlier to all tight ends in the history of tight ends. <laughs> but you know what? To. He's still a tight end. Right, yeah. He may be he may end up being one of the best tight ends of all time. 
still can happen, but he's still a tight end. Yeah. Tight ends take time. Mm -hmm. And we have to learn that. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with Hawkinson. Like now, now you're seeing it from Hawkinson, but you didn't see it. Every, you didn't see the first two games. So Hawkinson might fade away again once Mara comes back. Mm -hmm. But Hawkinson's good. He just needs the volume. And if Hawkinson gets the volume, he's a stud. You saw it. Yes. He could do it. He could easily do it again this week. Mm -hmm. As he should every so, week. Can we drop Allen Robinson? I think so. Sadly, I do too. I'm done. Something needs to change. Yeah. Is he? Do you think he's like? Washed up. He's not getting open. And and the Rams offensive line is putrid. So Stafford is looking at Cup. Stafford is looking at Higby. And that's about it. Right. And Skoranek Who? is getting more is getting I don't even know if I pronounce that name right. He's getting more looks than Robinson is. Yeah. Robinson's just not getting anything. Even the game he it was good, he only had five targets. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Yes. Drop it like it's hot. Bad news. Sorry. Can we drop Travis ATM? No. I'm not dropping him either. Not dropping him, but no. not also not playing him. Especially since where are you getting running backs at this point? Right. Right? You're not dropping him. No. But you I mean you can bench him. But you stash him. Again, this could be this could be a good week for ATN. Against against Houston. This could be a good week. And he's with Robinson. They both could go off this week. Yeah. So, let's so see do you how, play him let's this see, week? I mean, if you I, listen. I got a league where I got a lot of leagues where I lost Jonathan Taylor. So yeah, I'm playing ATN because I don't have a choice. I'm not like smiling about it. Okay, him or Latavius Murray? Oh God, ATN. <laughs> oh God, yeah. A Latavius Murray. God help me. If I have to play, if I, if you got to play Latavius Murray this year at some point. If you got to use him, I think you're gonna you're you're gonna be playing him more than you think. Well, I mean, Melvin Gordon's still the one on that team. He's but still the number one guy. Did you see him this week? Yeah, I know. He looks good. I know. I think, what? I think this is also a good sign that Kamara's going to play this week. That they let Latavius Murray just walk. And the, and the Broncos just sign him. So I think there's a good chance we're going to see Kamara. But, yeah. Yeah. I You know, if you got to play ATN, you got to play ATN. Yeah. Let's go to injuries. Uh, Tua with his concussion is out. Let's just... Leave it at that. He's out for the week. Yep. Teddy Bridgewater will be playing. Wait, what did you say? Teddy Bridgewater. Am I playing him? Are you? He's he's going to be starting no, quarterback I'm not for the Dolphins. Him. Yeah. No. no. I'm using him. Really? Oh yeah. I don't believe in Superflex and Superflex. Yeah, yeah, Superflex. Yeah, you're going to have to. I play to, but... I play as many Superflex leagues as not. So like, oh really? Every quarterback to me is viable. Well, yeah. And you're absolutely playing Teddy Bridgewater where you can. If you find him, he's better than a lot of the dreck out there right now. There's some garbage at quarterback this year. There are seven decent fantasy quarterbacks this year, right now. Lamar, Hurts, Mahomes, Allen, Golf. Herbert, five. Goff is six. Goff is six. All right, and I'm missing somebody, and I'm missing a big one. I mean, Rodgers is coming. Brady's coming. They're get, they're getting a little bad. Oh, Burrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, he's been good. He, yeah, he, he's, he's like, getting, and he's getting better. He's like a six, and right? But he he'll be fine. Yeah. But that, after that, it's garbage. It's a lot of garbage. Mm. Jonathan Taylor out. Out. We just got that news today. Yep. Mild injury, they say, but hopefully that's it. Jonathan Taylor, prior to last week, had never missed a practice oh. dating back to college. That's so sad. Right. Yeah. Maverick agrees. I this agree. is Maverick absurd. Agree. That's terrible. Uh, Javante, we already <sighs> talked about that. Yeah. Not much to talk about with that. Sorry. It's just awful. Season ending. Yep. Womp womp. Yep. Cordero Patterson's out. Hmm. Old man Patterson. Mm hmm It's a shame. He was having such a good year. That's a good start. Yeah. 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 Fire up Tyler Algier. Mm, we'll and see. And Caleb Huntley. We'll see. And Kenny Pickett, the new starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm for it. I like it. I like it, too. Maverick, like, Maverick Ma likes it, too. Maverick also is very excited. I mean, have we, se have we seen enough of Mitch Trubisky? Yes. There's certain players that are like, have we seen enough of these people already? Yes. Right? I've seen enough. Like, enough. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready for your waiver wire? Yes. Let's do it. 
Uh, uh. Get that good waiver wire that will set your team on fire. So don't miss fire or he will go to the highest buyer. Don't wait too long because you know they expire. You require to aspire the highest waiver wire. Uh. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. go get Mike Boone. No. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't get him anywhere. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mike Boone, I can't do it. Nope. Sorry. No. no. I think I'd rather pick Latavius up than Mike Boone. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I'm telling you, I mark it today, October 5th, Latavius Murray is going to have a decent year. Decent. I'm not saying great. I think I think he's going to have a decent year. I'm still yeah, but he's still playing. That's like that's how bad this year is so far. <laughs> like another player, can he just like fade? It's like, but he's back. He's back. He's back. This players can just come back and he's back. <laughs> Tyler Algier, did you pick him up? I didn't, but he looked good. He looked great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm for it. Yep. I tried to get him where I could. Yeah, you probably needed to. I, this, you're not kidding. Mm. I drafted Algier a lot. I held on to him a lot. A couple leagues I didn't, but I have him a lot. So he'll come in handy. Is there ever any week where you don't pick up any waivers? No. Just to get waiver priority for something like this? I pick up players every week. I mean, you have to. You There's always somebody. You don't have to. But I mean, I mean, I'm in 70 leagues. There's always a need. But some team's going to need something. See, I disagree. Okay. Unless I go 60, unless I go 70 and 0. No, I don't think, I just think some weeks your team could have a bad week or one of your players gets injured and you have somebody on the bench that you can use. But wouldn't you want to save that waiver priority for something detrimental to happen to your team where you do need that waiver priority? Well, first of all, most of the least we play are fab. So I'm oh, saving see, I a don't. lot of money. You're pl- I mean, we're using fab. We, we use fab. I only use fab leagues. in two out of five. Of you the use leagues. fab in three. You use fab in dynasty. You use it in podcast league and you use it in the, uh, we do it in podcast. League. League? Absolutely. I had no idea. Yeah. It shows how much I've been paying attention. Right. <laughs> in the ESPN, you do priority and then, and then the New York league, we do priority. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You know, and priority, like I've learned over the years, at least the way I've been playing, it's not even worth it to hold on to number one priority. You're going to hold on to number one priority to pick up Tyler Algier. It's like, when was the last time that a huge, huge player came up like that? Elijah Mitchell? That was a year ago, week one. Deontay Johnson? I mean, but he wasn't even, he was kind of a slow ad. Yeah. Like Justin Jefferson, the week that he went off, he would have been a one. Yeah. I remember the year Jay Ajayi went off, and then you picked up Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi. Right? right? And then you picked him up, and he gave you another game of the same thing, 200 yards. And then he didn't do it for the rest of the year. He gave yeah. you like 80 yards every game for the rest of the year. It wasn't bad. He wasn't a bad player, but he never, like, we thought he was going to blow up. And he wasn't great. How do you remember this stuff, Kenny? I pl- how many leagues do I play? Yeah, but Jay Ajayi, that's like. That's a big memory. That's deep. Okay. Do you remember the year Tim Hightower came back for the Saints? You're just very, you just, your memory is just absolutely incredible. This is why I can play 70 leagues. It's it's, Because I remember these things. It's it's just, I applaud you, Mr. Davidson. It just doesn't happen that often that one player comes on waivers that changes everything. Yeah. That's all. So I just feel like there's always needs. Uh, By the way, uh, we said Isaiah Pacheco. We didn't say him, Isaiah Pacheco. Let's say Isaiah Pacheco. You're picking him up. Good stash. Absolutely a stash and hope. Stash I mean, and hope. if uh, CH gets hurt, Pacheco could be a real thing. Yeah. Without a doubt. Looks pretty good. Well, is this his first year? Oh, yeah. 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 If Rashad White is available, go get him. He he's, should not be on waivers in any leagues. He, he's available in 32% of Yahoo leagues. That's insane. 32%. Yeah. No, That's go nothing. get him. Go get him. Check. George Pickens, if he's available in your league, he shouldn't be up to this week. I j- dropped him in ESPN. It is a 10-team. It's a 10-team league. It's different. But, yeah, but I had really high hopes for him, and he just wasn't doing anything all year, and I, you know. 
I was like, that's I'm done. If you draft rookie wide receivers, you've got to give them until about mid-October. You have to. Elijah Moore didn't come back, didn't come out last year to mid-October, maybe early October. You just have to. You got to give him time. Well, I dropped him because I ten team leagues are different though. Like, yeah, it's a different story with you in the ten team league. But I'm saying in a deeper twelve team league, like if you drafted Pickens, you got to hold on to Pickens for a while. Now, if you are done picking some of these players up, there are the uh, the late nighters, of course, or the early morning. Oh, the early morning ones. Because if your waivers have already passed, you can pick them up this morning, or even. Tomorrow morning, early, or an afternoon delight. Wow. Pick them up right now. I'm learning a lot about Christina Shaw. <laughs> I learned that Dorch is her German safe word. Dorch! And that she's, Dorch a, me. she's a morning person. I am a morning person. Wow. <laughs> learn something new every day, Kenny Davis. <laughs> I learned this after how many years? And our 50 people who listen to our so podcast. Who is, your, who is your early morning pick? <laughs> Those low, how lonely do these people have to be that they've been left till early morning? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they've been left till the morning. No long, this is no longer sexy. This is like, you know. The leftovers. The leftovers. Well, that's really what they are. They are leftovers. This is no longer sexy. It's the, These are the leftovers, ladies and gentlemen. Who's your leftover? Will Disley. Dis. He's had three touchdowns in the last four games. Disley. That's nice. Just say it in your morning. In your morning. Disley. Disley. Will. Dorch and Disley me. <laughs> I mean, is it better than Zay? I thought Zay was sexy. I like Zay. Yeah. Zay's pretty sexy. Yeah, Zay. Zay. <laughs> Disley. How about, how about another Lee? How about Huntley? Caleb Huntley. Ooh. Only available in 11% of leagues. Yeah, that's right. I got one more. Oh, you have another after midnight? Yes. Or early morning now? Early We're gonna, morning. We can't call this after midnight anymore. We have to call there. this, like, you know, the wake up the wake up people. Or the afternoon delight. Afternoon delights. Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce. I'm with you on that one. I like this. I love I Alec like, Pierce. I like him. Yep. On the Broken Colts offense, but, you know, that guy. He's good. He's good. I got him in Dynasty, and I am happy about it. Ooh, nice. There you go. That was your after midnight, afternoon delight, early morning tips <laughs> of the week. Since we're late on a podcast. The leftovers. The leftovers. Yes. That's the news. That's just called the leftovers. I, like, I thought after midnight's way more sexy, but yeah. Um, by the way, who the hell is Chig Okonkwo? Oh, you don't, you know who Chig is? Who the hell is Chig Okonkwo? He's a he's a rookie out of Maryland. He's a six three. He's twenty three years old, and um, he was uh, pick one hundred and forty three in the fourth round of our draft this past year. And uh, this week, he got four receptions for forty five yards and one touchdown. Like I said, who the hell is Chig Okonkwo? I, I have no idea. I just I just read that. <laughs> I just read that all because I have no idea who this Chig is either. You know who he is? He's a tight end for the Titans. I, I, who did better than Austin Hooper. Who's done better than Austin Hooper all year. And a <laughs> list of tight ends that he's done better with oh this week. Oh, my God. So okay. That's who Chig and Okonkwo is. Chig. Chig. Chigga, 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 chigga. He that's actually, right. his name is longer. I just don't even know how to pronounce it. Really? Yeah. Okay. His they full name is is. It's longer than Chig. Chig. It's longer than Chig. Oh, Here it is. Chigazium. Chigazium. Yep. Yeah, Chigazium. Yep. There Okonkwo. you go. There you go. Learn for something new every day. Titans. All right. Glad we could educate well, you. Well, we here. learned who Chig Okonkwo is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okonkwo. Did you overthink anything this week? No. My teams are perfect. Just kidding. Wow. No, they're not. Okay. They're not at all. The only way you play me. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah. Did you? No. I'm not. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm just trying to start a healthy team yeah. every week. I'll tell you what I am doing. I'm starting to tear down the dynasty team. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, really? Yeah. 
my dominant team that never won a championship that scored 150 this week and still lost by 50, that scored, that lost by 93 last week. But it's not a bad team. But I decided that I'm not going to get a better time to sell Dalvin Cook, and I'm not going to get a better time to sell DeAndre Hopkins. So I got an offer to take Marquise Brown on a one in a very good draft coming up. Of quarterbacks. Of uh, quarterbacks and running backs. Yeah. Like this year, the first round of a rookie dynasty draft is going to be loaded. C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, B. John Robinson, and then the receivers. And uh, Gibbs is another uh, – Bigsby. You have so many running backs and wide receivers coming out and quarterbacks this year. So now I have three first-round picks. But I also got – Marquise Brown, who I think is now the best player in the deal. Yeah. That's how I feel about him. Like Dalvin Cook. Who'd you trade this to, Jakubu? I, I traded this to Tom. Oh. we Because well, Tom and I, Tom came to watch Monday Night Football with me, and we talked business. Oh, it's business. You had a we, business. Got, we, we, we had a business meeting. Business we didn't deal. plan on having a business meeting, but I was just like, it's time. It's time for me to like retool because the other thing with this team, I have a good team. But I don't think I can beat Steve. So he's scoring monster points. Chase Jefferson, mm-hmm. like he's got he, his team is absolutely loaded. Scott Teeple's team is absolutely loaded. Mm-hmm. So I don't think even if my team performs up to snuff, like I need to get lucky to win. That's how I kind of felt. And I still, I'm gonna field like if my team is healthy, I'm gonna compete with everybody. I could still find a way. You never know. Like maybe I get a big week out of Taylor and Cup and I win. You mm-hmm. never know. It can happen. But I really feel like I'm third or fourth best team in the league. So at that point, and why not? Only, you're only a spot higher in, than me. I'm one and three. Yeah, I'm one. But I shouldn't th- be one and three. I'm one I should and three be three and one. Well. Yeah. I, I should be three and one. I've, I've, I had two players put 200 points up against me back to back weeks. Jeez. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah. But it's more than that. It's just Dalvin Cook is – it's coming – it's not done for him yet, but it's coming. You know what I mean? It's it's coming. You can see it coming. And DeAndre Hopkins, he didn't look good last year. And he's already fitting. And, and receivers like DeAndre Hopkins, who are not separation receivers, they're the leverage receivers, they fade. So I don't think he's going to come back and be a big thing the way mm-hmm. he used to be. Marquise Brown – I think it's going to be the one on that team. So I made the deal. All right. Well, we'll see how. So I don't know. That's an overthought. We're going to find out. We're going to revisit that. Okay. This is my legendary dynasty team where I dominated but couldn't win a championship. It's because I won. (laughs) Well, no. The first year, you were were supposed to win that. I was supposed to win. Well, your team was way better at that point. My team was coming. But I had the last, the second year and the third year where I dominated the regular season and then got to the playoffs. Two years ago, I got Camarad. By six touchdowns from Kamara, and I lost that. And then last year, just up against Scott. Scott killed me. Yep. So it's like, it is what it is. Two second place finishes from this team. So I decided that. Now, speaking of Kamara. Speaking of Kamara. We got word that Kamara was not playing in the London game. This was a 6.30 in the morning game for the West Coast. At 5 a.m. Now, I'm still up at 5 a.m. But here's the thing. You're still awake at 5 a.m. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Latavius Murray was elevated from the practice squad on Saturday. What does that tell you? That tells you that a running back is very questionable to play on Sunday. That tells you that Kamara is very questionable. And there was rumblings already on Saturday that Kamara might not play. Mm -hmm. So you got to be prepared for it. But if you are somebody that, like, you didn't get up early, whatever it is, and you left Kamara in your lineup, I mean – Sorry, but that's how it is. But that's the game. And I don't, I don't have a problem with that. But, like, the ones who are complaining, there are people that are complaining that think that Yahoo should have an auto button. If a player is inactive, that they should be automatically no, taken No, it's part of the game. Are you f***ing kidding me? No. 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 You miss it, you lose. That's how it is. That's how it is. Enough. This is not child's play. This is fantasy football, people. That's right. But no, serious. I mean, we're playing for money. Wake up or shut up. I agree. 
Set an alarm. Yeah, set an alarm. You're set right. an alarm. If it's that important, set an to you. alarm and then go back to bed. Yeah, check your lineup. If you, if, yeah, if you, I mean, you know, we all need sleep. I get it. I need sleep. I, mean, I don't know when I do sleep because I don't. But like, set an alarm. Go back to bed. It's as simple as that. Mm-hmm. You learned something new there. Yeah, like tough. Sorry, Camara's out. Get him out of your lineups. I was up. I got him out of. I you know how many lineups I have Camara in. You know, every time lines I had to switch at five in the morning, but I did it. Oh my gosh. You are committed. You have to be. Committed. If you're playing this way, you gotta be. You're pot committed. Yeah. You have to. So, but I mean, come on with this. Yeah, with these sites need to give an auto button if they're inactive. Who was saying that? Come, I'm all over Twitter. Oh, geez. So many people are, are bitching and moaning about this. Come on. That's ridiculous. No. Can we stop dumbing the game down for people? At least give credit to the people that work hard. Yeah. That's all. If you don't, then don't play. That's my rant. Or play in like $10, $10 leagues. Right. That's my rant. So Great. There you go. We got a bunch of uh, starter sit questions. Are you uh, ready for... Are you ready for your song? I'm ready for my song. It's a Wednesday night. Who should you choose? Make the right choice so you win, not lose. Starter sit, starter sit. Oh yeah! All right, got some good ones. We got some real good ones. Go First for it. First one is from Dennis. He wants to know. Here it is. Got it. Okay. PPR needs two. Dylan. Connor, Herbert, Zeke, Penny, or Pollard? Not Pollard. No. I'm going Herbert Penny. What were the other two? Only two? Two. Well, you can he could play a flex, but okay. he's got Tyler Lockett in his flex, and I say leave Lockett in the flex. Okay. That's my Okay. So I say leave Lockett in the flex and do Herbert and Penny. But the choices are Dylan, Connor, Herbert, Zeke, Penny, Pollard. I want Connor in there. Yeah, that that was, yeah. Herbert, Connor. I might go Herbert. Connor over Herbert. Really? I might. Well, Herbert was okay. Wasn't what we thought it was going to be. I think he was pretty good. It was okay. Yeah. Penny was great. And then now Penny's got a real tough matchup this week against New Orleans. Yeah. As does Lockett. Which here's the thing, you don't want to play both Penny and Lockett, right? Hmm. I mean, do I mean it's not that big a deal if you play them both, but you really want to. Yeah, that's why I kind of say yeah. Herbert. Now I say Herbert Connor. I'm still going Herbert though. And, and you also do you want to leave Penny out of your lineup after you just exploded this week? Oh, so many questions. I mean, look, I know it was against Detroit. Detroit can't stop me, but <laughs> or your mom or or anybody, right? So, I get it, but Dylan, no. no. Zeke, no. Pollard, no. No, yeah, I agree. Just staying away from all those guys. So right. Connor. Herbert. Herbert. Penny. Penny Lockett. Lockett. Are, are in the conversation. Right. I kind of want to get Connor in there. He just hasn't been that great. He hasn't been terrible, though. And he's getting the ball. Yeah. Herbert, I don't know. Do I trust Herbert? I do. Okay. Fair enough. Mine would be Connor, Herbert, Lockett. Keep Lockett in your flex. I might go Connor, Penny, Herbert, because I'm not a Lockett guy. Ooh, jeez, sorry. I'm not a Lockett guy. Lockett's one of those guys I just don't, I can't deal with. But you don't know, you don't know when the game's coming for Lockett. But he's been decent. He's been decent. He has. He has been decent. This is a really tough game for them against the Saints. Yeah. In New Orleans. All right, the second one is half PPR, need two. Okay. Pittman, London, McLaurin, Samuel, or Garrett Wilson, or Romeo Dubes. Dobbs. Yeah. Dubes? We're the first three. Pittman, London. You're definitely starting London. You're starting Pittman for sure. You're never sitting Michael Pittman. Right, and you're never sitting Drake London. I mean, you're not. Not never, but he's been so good. You're not playing McLaurin. Nope. Curtis Samuel, yeah. maybe. Yeah, he's Garrett good. Wilson versus Miami. 
You only can start two of them? Mm-hmm. Half P... Jesus. Half PPR. And what was last one? Pittman and who? Garrett Wilson? No. Romeo Dubes. Oh, Dobbs. 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 Um, I'm going Pittman Dobbs. Really? Yeah. I'm going Pittman London. Okay. Pittman for sure. Pittman shouldn't even be in the conversation. Half PPR. Still. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pittman, the th- Pittman you're starting. Third is Russell Wilson or Zach Wilson. Oof. Russell Wilson. Zach Wilson got 20 points and didn't deserve it. Yeah. But I mean, I hope, I hope Zach Wilson becomes a thing. I really do, considering how invested I am in Elijah Moore and invested in Garrett Wilson. Right. So I really hope he's okay. Mm-hmm. I'm still starting Russell. I don't love Russell, but I'm starting him. Yeah, same. Yeah. And then the same league, it's a um, quarter PPR. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Lockett, McLaurin, or Elijah Moore? Lock it. Elijah Moore. Dang. I. Who's. Oh, who's more play? Miami. Okay. Elijah Moore. Dang. Let's get the schedule out just to make sure we, we, we have it all again. So it's Elijah Moore against Miami. Saints are against the um, Seahawks. And what was the third one again? Uh, McLaurin. Who are the, oh, the Titans are playing? You know, you know, I'm going to shock you. I'm going to go McLaurin. No, I uh, no, I'm done. Titans stink. Titans, I don't care. Titans defense stinks. No. See, I'm I, going McLaurin. Mm, yeah. I'm going l- more. Okay. More. All right. More. Speaking mm, of more. Give us more. more. It hurts. I need more. Yes. Okay, lastly and most importantly in his high-stakes league, he's thin at wide receiver. He only has Cup, Lamb, and Sutton. So I offer Jamal Williams to the Swift owner for Hollywood Brown. He accepted. So I need two or three RBs from this list. Stevenson, Connor, Wilson, Akers, Dylan, Etienne, or Pollard. The answer is never Acres. Yeah. The answer is not Dylan. You yeah. don't know when the Dylan game. You, the problem with Dylan and Pollard, you don't know when those games are coming. Right. They're going to come, but you that. don't know when they are. No. Acres has been abysmal, and they're playing against Dallas. Forget that. Definitely Stevenson. It's the first three. Yeah. It's, 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 and you need two out of the first three. Yeah. Two or three RBs. Who are the, and Stevenson. Who are the other two? Connor. Connor. Wilson. Jeff Wilson. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, agree. Yeah, those three. Agreed. Yep. All right, and then we have another one. Uh, Stafford versus Golf, or Ramondre and Ramondre or Hunt. Ramondre and yeah. Golf. Yeah, Ramondre, yeah. Ramondre and Golf. Ramondre and Golf. Golf's hot. You're not sitting Golf right no. now. No, and you're not sitting Ramondre. He's also hot. No, nope. you're not sitting either of them right now. Mm-hmm. You may, but, like, right now, I'm playing them. Okay, there's another one from Francisco. Yeah. Waddle with uh, backup Teddy Bridgewater or Thielen. <sighs> oh, Thielen's gotten better, right? <sighs> I'm not sitting Waddle. I'm never sitting Waddle. But with Bridgewater? I'm not sitting Waddle. Oh, and Thielen's been so touchdown dependent. I'm just, I cannot sit Jalen Waddle. Period. God, that's hard. That's an easy one for me. I hate having I, – I, now, who else can he start instead of, you know, who can he sit for Thielen? That's a better question. But I'm not sitting Waddle. And they're playing the Jets. Yeah. Come on. All right, Waddle, fine. Waddle. I'm not I'm not confident about that answer. All right. Okay, or um, another one, Gabe Davis or Robert Woods. <sighs> I'm going Woods. I'm not sitting Gabe Davis yet. I'm going Woods. Okay. I'm, I'm – Gabe I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not against you on that, but I, I, I would play Davis. But I'm not against playing Woods. Gabe is just good old Gabe's just not producing anymore. I'm just. I'm just sad about it, and I need to see something more from him. Especially if you have that option, I'm going Woods. I do think Robert Woods is going to have an enormous week. Yes, I do. This is fire up Woods this week. Okay, so are you changing your answer? No, I mean, I'm just. I'm not sure if I'm ready to sit Davis yet. Although I don't think it's—I don't think this is an unfair question. 
Davis has not been good. Woods. All right. Okay. Uh, David asks, would you dump Michael Carter to pick up Algier? Oh, I hate dumping Carter. I would I mean, dump Car- Carter. I mean, but Car- Carter is going to turn into a handcuff. Now, Carter will be a good handcuff. But, I mean, Algier is too, technically. But, but Algier is playing, playing right now. Playing, right. But That's how good is he going to play? If you need the production now, I do it. I don't want to have to dump Carter. I wish you had somebody else to dump. But, like, if you need a guy, yeah. I would do it. All right. I would do it. Yeah. And last one from Scott. Bridgewater or Pickett for this week only. And then Pickett, Wentz, or Ryan rest of season. Bridgewater this week for sure. Yes. Rest of Pickett's season. Pickett's against Buffalo. You don't want to deal with it. Right. And then rest of the season, what was Pickett? It was Bridgewater. Pickett, or Wentz, Pickett. or Ryan. Rest of season. I'm saying I mean, Wentz rest of the season. Yeah, I mean, we don't know Pickett yet. And not Ryan. Just you know, like, if you ask us in three weeks, we might say Pickett. Right. But we need to see Pickett before we can re- you make a decision like that. Yeah. Like, we you know, Pickett, I, Pickett might end up being really good, but it's too soon to tell. Mm-hmm. Wentz has been de- – Wentz, to me, in a good matchup is going to give you a good game. Like, and then, you know, Wentz, Wentz is a little matchup dependent. But right. I think, if like, this week I'd play Wentz for sure. Yeah, so you maybe – I mean? like they're, keep they're, him- there are weeks you play Wentz, but there are, there, there are weeks. Matt Ryan has shown nothing Mm-mm. this year. Hasn't shown it at all. Drop like him. They, they're, just, they're broken. Just drop him. Like, pick it long term. Might be, might be better than all of them. But we got to see. Can't say that yet. Well, uh, hopefully you won't have to drop any of them. That would be your best. And just keep them all and just plug and play as you need them. Yeah. I mean, you really. Well, you don't want to keep three quarterbacks. I get that. Yeah, I, I would drop Ryan. Right. I would keep Pickett and Wentz yeah, and it, plug and play as you see fit. Yeah. If this is a one quarterback league, you don't need Matt Ryan. No. No, no, no. You just don't. He hasn't shown it. Right. So that's that. Okay. That's all we got. Go. That's all we got. Thanks for your questions, guys. Thank you. We want more of those. We love that. Yeah. So we can ruin your teams just like we ruined our own. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're going to bookend the show. The way we started it. Dearly beloved. (laughs) (laughs) I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You do it. I can't do it. We are gathered here today. (laughs) (sighs) To bury Javante Williams. Javante Williams for 2022. (laughs) We'll miss you. We're so sorry about your injury. We'll see you next year. See you next year. Oh wait, wait. God. I got a raise from the dead. What? We're raise. raising somebody We're from the dead? We're raising someone from the dead. That's not a raise. There we go. Yes. There we go. That's yeah, go ahead. We are raising from the dead. Latavius Murray. Hey! Latavius is back from the dead. Ah. All right, Latavius. <laughs> Are we burying Michael Thomas or, or reviving Michael I don't, Thomas? Is my, Michael Thomas going to play? He didn't play, play last week. I know, but is he going to play this week? We still don't know. Hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned for Michael Thomas. The suspense is the suspense. killing me. <laughs> uh, will we bury Michael Thomas or will we raise him? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. To next week's show. Well, that was fun. Sorry, but we started on such a somber note. But, you know, I'm a Javante guy. This has been, this is a painful day. Yeah. It's a painful week. Well, let's look toward the future. Yes. On that note, we look toward the future. My name's Kenny Davidson. I'm Christina Shaw. Hope you enjoyed the show. You know where to download us, right? Yeah, yeah. You should. You're listening to it I mean, now. you're listening to it. Why are we telling you where to download <laughs> us if you're listening to us? This is ridiculous, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Send us your start sit questions. That's a better ending. Yeah, we'll do that. Or trade offers, too. Ooh, trade offers. Yeah, I like we'll definitely that. Do that. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. See you Have next week. week. Bye.